Hi folks, welcome. It's 20 Minute Tuesday again. Today's workout requires a dowel, stick, pole, or a three wood if you're in a hotel room and you've got your clubs with you, and some kind of cushion that we can put under our knee for a bit of support. Okay, so as always, let's get down on the floor and get our body ready for the workout. So let's warm up the joints, mobilize the joints. Start with my little knee rolls, just side to side to side, just letting the leg drop down, feel a nice little stretch there through the hip, keeping my head and my neck pretty relaxed, shoulders and arms relaxed to the side. Also, if this is early in the morning, you're just letting the eyes become accustomed to the light, not just the muscles and the tendons and the ligaments and the muscular system we're warming up, also the nervous system becoming ready for the day. I'll go for some big arm circles next. i just take my hands together over and then round to the side. Over, round to the side. Take some nice big breaths as well. Like I say, everything is getting ready for the session ahead. Forget about all the stresses of the day. Forget about everything else. You've got a little 20 minutes to yourself. Just work the body. Let's go into a few little glute bridges there. So I just bring the hips up and down nice and smooth. Feel a little contraction in the buttocks. Feel a little bit of work in the hamstring. One more of those. Now I'm going to bring my right leg up, keep the knee soft. I'm just going to lower and raise that leg a few times. I can feel that warming up and stretching out the front of that right hip. Like we said in previous workouts, using the warm up as a little test. How's that leg feel? How tight does that leg feel? How strong, weak does that leg feel? Is there any clicking, cracking, popping going on anywhere? Hopefully not. I'll change legs. Lift the leg up, down and up. Even though it's not considered a core workout just yet, by moving that limb up and down, I'm already thinking about getting a little brace there through my core muscles, just keeping a little control of that pelvis. Nice and smooth. And then I'll take that onto my front. So I lie down, I'm gonna keep my pelvis I feel like I've super glued my pelvis to the floor and then I'm just going to gently extend that spine up and down. Just get a good bit of mobility. I'm really thinking about the chest portion of my spine, bending and extending backwards like so. Now this workout could also be done at the end of a golfing day if you've played early. You're away playing golf, you've teed off early in the morning, half seven, seven o'clock in the morning. You've come back, you've had a bit of lunch, you've had a rest, and you're just feeling a little bit lethargic. Just a little mid-afternoon mobility flow. Let's take that up. Let's go back into our happy cat, angry cat position there. Now the spine's getting warmer. And then I'll bring that into my half kneeling position. This is where I prefer, if I'm gonna spend a bit of time on one knee, I prefer putting some sort of cushion or support under the knee like so. And from there, hold on to this leg and I'm just gonna open the book and just get a good stretch, open up the shoulder and the chest, rotate the spine. Head can follow the hand, eyes can follow the hand if you want to. If that feels like you, you go a little bit lightheaded if you turn your head, then just keep focusing straight ahead, keep an eye on the camera and you're still gonna get the motion out the shoulder and the chest. And I'll do the same on the other leg. So I'll come down, place a support under the knee, bring the foot forward. Notice I'm in a fairly wide base here. That's gonna come later on when we challenge the balance when we get to the second round. As always, we're gonna do six exercises on this Tuesday set, twice through. And on the second round, I'll show you a few tweaks where we can challenge you a little bit more. And then while I'm on this leg, I'm just going to gently swing the arms down and then lean back. The 
feel that stretch right the way through the abdominals, the armpits coming down to that hip. So I'll do a couple of those on the other knee as well. have it nice little free up of the joints nice little warm up the next set of exercise aren't going to be too taxing just yet so they're almost going to carry on the warm up so this is where we're going to give you your 15 second warning i'm going to have a quick sip and come back to this position here so grab my water grab my dowel i'm already in this stance set up for the workout quite a wide base and three two one, we begin by bringing the dowel up and across and back down again. A little bit like we're in a, a kayak maybe, doing a little bit of rotation. So when we think about the golf swing, things that the, the top men and women tend to do is by moving pretty efficiently, they can separate what their upper and their lower body do during transitions in the golf swing. So what I mean by that is they start their downswing with their lower body weight shift and hip rotation which allows that extra little bit of torque and stretch through the body, a little bit of elastic energy. And we're practicing that here, believe it or not. So just nice and smooth. We've got another six seconds. Like I said, not too taxing to begin with. Three, two, one, and then down. Making sure I keep that nice posture throughout. So I'm gonna be on the other knee. So just mentioning there, I'm to separate the body. I want the, the upper body to be able to rotate a little bit while the lower body stays dead still. Or in the golf swing, I can reverse that and let the hips turn while the shoulders stay square. So we're just getting ready to go there. Think about that while we're doing it. Three, two, one, and then off we go. Up and across, and then back down. Same thing with the head as we mentioned in the workout, in the, in the warm up, I should say. I can follow where that pole goes, or I can just look straight ahead. As long as either of those, I keep tall, keep my posture. So sometimes if you've been with me before and we've done the plank type exercises, and I tell you to visualize a drink on your back, keep it nice and still. Well, let's balance a drink on our head while we do these. So lower body nice and stable, upper body warming up the shoulders. You see my chest naturally turns. The center of my sternum comes down and goes up and has that little bit of rotation while we're going. Four, three, two, and one next we go to standing we're going to get the legs a little bit of work i'm going to use the same block as a bit of a guide here so if i now use the pole i'll go flat side down for health and safety i'm going to try to in my lunge stance tap my knee on that block with the help of the dowel just while i warm up the knees and now we're going to work the quadriceps in four three two one we go down and back up down and back up forward foot stays flat knees pointing towards the camera and you can see i'm on my natural train tracks of my gait where my hip my knee and my foot are just swinging forwards with any of this stuff when we're in a split stance wider means easier narrow a bit more challenge for balance now if you've got the flow of that and you want to just hold the pole in front then you're not getting as much help you've got to work your balance and i've got to maintain that nice upright posture like we did before in the kneeling position so legs are starting to get warm i've got five four three two and one give the legs a little shake out 25 second breather and we'll do the same on the other side so again square side of my dowel down other foot goes forwards make sure i have a little practice am i going to hit that cushion it's in the right position Get myself up tall. Some of you might be feeling a bit of a stretch happening anyway, just in neutral, that's okay. Three, two, one. Let's go down and come back up. Down and come back up. So tall posture, use that pole for a bit of help. Think about that forward foot. Knee just tracks the center of the foot there, back and forth. And breathe, don't forget to breathe. So that's feeling comfortable. Let's go ahead and put that down in front of me. Reminding me to keep my shoulders nice and level. If that starts to burn the legs too much, 
just slow down or stop. No one's holding a gun against your head and forcing you to do the whole 45. If you're new to these workouts, take your time. Three, two, one, and relax. There, we go back down to the floor. Two more stations to do before we get some water. So kneeling, alternating knee lift plank. So I'm gonna keep my knees down to start off with. I'm gonna have my toes tucked under. I'm just gonna alternate which knee comes up. You'll see what that does to your core. Three, two, one, like so. Straighten one leg, down. Straighten the other leg, down. Straighten the first leg, down. And so I'm always picking up a knee without that lower back. That cut that was on our head previous, that's now balanced on my lower back. I'm trying to keep my spine from my short line all the way up to my skull in as neutral, straightish look as possible. Remember to breathe. We're into the last 12 seconds. Stay with me, team. The rest position on this one, if you need to make it easier, just go back to two knees. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. And then the last one in this little sequence is a sky angel. This is gonna work on your posture muscles and your shoulders. Good bit of shoulder mobility and stability at the same time. So I've got to control what my arm is doing. So we'll be just a little bit lifted, arms and chest off the floor, and a bit like I'm making a snow angel, but I'm just gonna make it in the sky. Four, three, two, one, lift off. Try and keep your hands just above the mat or the floor and just make that little semicircle for me. Now, the further forward you go with the, arm, the arms, it's a little bit more tricky on the body. You've got to brace. So find a little range. If you want to just do a smaller little range down here, I'm fine with that. After all, you got out your bed or out your car, you've actually made a, a good decision to do some workout. I'm not going to punish you. Just do what you can. Allow your body to improve as you go. We've got 10 more seconds. Still breathing, still bracing. Four, three, two, one. That's our six stations. Grab yourself a good drink, hydrate those tissues, and give you a little breather, and then we'll go around again. Now, some of you may feel, blimey, that was a little bit tricky. I don't want to make that any more difficult. Some of you might be thinking on the second round, oh, I'm a bit more pumped up and ready to go, Russ. Give me something a little bit harder, and I'll show you some of the tricks we can do to intensify the exercises. Also, we're one round in. We're not just switched on mu muscularly, but like I said, new neuros and the brain, everything's firing. We're a bit more alert than we were, especially if this was an early morning workout. Think about the quality. Think about what you're trying to achieve with the exercises, how that's gonna have a little carryover to moving better out on the golf course and in life. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll give you another 15 second warning. We're gonna get going, so I need my pad again. 15 seconds from now, I pick a leg. Now the simple way to make this one harder is I narrow your base. It's a balance exercise as well. So four, three, two, one, and we're off again. So I'm down, so I've brought my foot nearer the midline previous round I was out here and it felt kind of easy so now I'll go a little bit more tricky and now another way I can make it tricky add a bit more speed so by trying to move faster after all that's that's what we're here for aren't we we're trying to hit that golf ball a little bit further so I need a little bit more speed but with that speed I still need control because further in the trees and further in the water hazard is no good to anyone so control the lower body Move the upper body while it naturally turns. And we got five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff. Right, same on the other side. Let's have a little look, see if I can do this one slightly better than the first round. Bring myself more narrow. If you're ever not sure, use the hole you're holding. If I go there, that's as, about as narrow as I like to do this exercise. Foot in line with the side of the knee. Five, four, three, two, one, and then chop. 
And then once you feel fairly secure, add a little bit of speed. Still control the lower body. Lots more twitching of muscles going on. Trying to do that fast in a narrow base. But we're getting more out of it. Good tall posture, remember? Don't, don't get slouching on me. Keep that head and chest up nice and high. Inside the last 15 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Up I get. So I take a step forwards into my lunge stance. Pole going to be supporting me. Now harder is just going to be simply no pole support from the start. So I'm just going to either put that here, or if it's comfortable, just place it along the back of your shoulders like so. So in five, four, three, two, one, I just tap the knee and come back up. Tap the knee, come back up. Keep that chest up. Try not to go too far forwards with my body. Visually, I want to feel like I'm going straight up and down as I bend both knees and push with the legs. If you require a little breather, I'll show you how to get a bit of a breather. I'd come up, step forwards, and then step back again into position and go again. That would be if your legs are on fire. But if you can carry on just hitting those repetitions, we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Feel that in the quadriceps and the glutes. So give the legs a little shake. So make sure you don't do the same leg twice. Now I go forward with the other foot. Have a little practice. Am I going to hit my cushion? Yes. Take my dowel across the front. Pop it on the shoulders if you'd like to. Depends on the mobility in your shoulders for that one. And in three, two, one, let's begin. That's it. Good controlled breathing. I'm sure you're all feeling a little bit warmer. Heart rate's up, feeling some muscles working. Good way to clear the mind exercise. Right now, you don't care about anything other than getting through this next 45 seconds. And if some people are burning the legs, remember what we said, you can just come up, step forwards, step back into position, and then go back down. And we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Pole can go on the floor, cushion out of the way, it's our kneeling plank. Elbows down onto my forearms. Remember, knees start on the floor, toes stay on the floor the whole time. I don't want you lifting the foot. And we've got 10 seconds to get ourselves psyched up and ready. Two more stations and then we're done. Five, four, three, two, one. One, knee stay down, right leg check, left leg check, right leg check, left leg check. Now I promised you a tweak. If you're comfortable with right leg, left leg, we go right, left, both, and down. Right, left, both, and down. But nothing in your pelvis, or your lower back, or your shoulders, should move right be careful you're not raising your bum up i don't want to see anyone whoop go up with the bum like that all right so level 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 five more seconds team four three two one and down feel that in the shoulders feel that in the tummy all right we've got a sky angel away from completion so a nice easier one to start and finish on this workout the half kneeling in the posture. We've done the worst stuff, the lunges and the planks. We've got six, five, four, three, two, one, and off we go. So I already showed you the tweaks on this one. If you go further forward with the arms, it gets harder. If you stay down here in this lower zone, it's a little bit easier. So that big reach and then if you want to if you feel like you can I can try and almost swim butterfly 
where as I go forwards, I get into this zone here where I get higher and down, up and forwards, up and back, up and forwards, up and back, up and forwards. In five, four, three, two, one. And bring yourself up. Let's just rock back into our prayer pose for me. Wide knees and just spend a little bit of time there letting that lower back calm down. Well done, team. There you have it, guys. Another 20 minute workout in the bank. Oof, that one was pretty tough on some of those muscles there. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you didn't go too hard, but I hope you pushed yourself. Let's get some more going next week and the week after, and the week after. We'll get you swinging hard and staying healthy.